smile, not to smile, oh baby, oh. All of whom are here to share in your joy on this special occasion. It will be one of the most memorable and happy days of your life. On this your wedding day, you stand apart from all others being within the circle of your law. For this reason, we are here in the presence of God to join you both in holy matrimony. God has declared that marriage is honorable and desirable. It is not to be done hastily or perform with that real decision as something like or a plain matter in order to satisfy one's laws as animals having no thoughts but with honor, with reason, with respect and calmness, with the fear of God and the reasonable thought. It was designed by God to bring the ultimate in happiness and personal satisfaction. The basic guideline is that you should put God first. Alright, so let me at this point I'd like to welcome um, the parents of the bride and the parents of the groom to stand by. Alright, please stand. I want the parents of Amaka to stand by Kelvin and the parents of Kelvin to stand by Amaka. Alright. Thank you. Welcome. Just at home. Welcome, sir. Good to see you. Alright. Welcome. Lovely to see you. Please at home. Okay. Ah, all right. Okay. Okay. Good. Please. Okay. I'm not shaking your hand. Good to see you. All right. Um, in this short, the value parental consent. It is observed that more than half of marriage that is are destroyed are happened because the parent did not support the parent, uh, children when they are getting married. Uh, because parents are wise enough to see things that children will not see. And so because children are disobedient, they decide to go to school and they leave with their boyfriends and you know they get married and they come back with children. But because these students, these young people today have honored God and honored their parents, I'd like us to celebrate them this morning. <laughs> it is not time to start this morning with children. Okay. Hallelujah. All right. It is traditional for the father of the bride to give her, give her away. However, in real sense, both parents share in the joy of both giving and receiving. On this note, I'd like to ask the parents of the bride and the groom, first of all to the bride, this is the following questions. So let me ask uh, the parents of uh, Amaka. All right, so, they are here, sorry. I know, I know more. All right, Mr. Godwin, did you mind? I believe it, is that you? Are you okay? Mr. Kusuba Mbanusi, are you okay? And Mrs. Basilia Mbanusi, please, do you publicly testify before this great congregation that you are not only joyfully giving your daughter, Amaka, to Kelvin as wife, but also receiving Kelvin, not to be a son-in-law, but to be a son. Please, if you accept what I'm saying, please say yes, I do. Yes. I can't hear you. Please say it loudly. Yes. Oh, let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. All right, now for Mr. Godwin Ejimadu and Mrs. Blessing Oyeko. Please, do you not only joyfully give your son Kelvin to Amaka as wife, as husband, but willingly and wholeheartedly and joyfully receive Amaka not as daughter-in-law, but as daughter? Please, if you believe me, if that's what you're doing, say yes, we do. Yes, we do. Can we clap for them? So this moment, let's clap for them as we allow them to get back to us. Please, I get back to your seat. We will need to come on that impression. Let's clap for them till they get back to their seat. I'm sure you're going to come with your hands. Clap for them. All right, your parents are good. Okay. Let's find out whether this sister is really the sister you marry or you really want to marry. 
Let us give him his first assignment to help us remove this mosquito net. Please. Uh -huh. Do me gently. You'll be doing role play. She might be angry. Very gently before we get, she gets angry with you. the woman to be his friend and companion, not out of his head to rule over him, not out of his feet to be trampled upon by him, but out of his side to be equal with him, and under his arm to be protected, and near his heart to be loved. God said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cling to his wife, and their twain shall become one flesh. One flesh in companionship. One flesh in control of God given sexual drives, one flesh in the propagation of children, and one flesh in the testimony of the joy of a Christian marriage. The Bible tells us that true love is slow to patience. Love is kind. Love looks for a way of being constructive. Love is not possessive. Love is neither anxious to impress, nor does it cherish inflated ideas of its own importance. Love has good manners. And love does not pursue selfish advantage. It is not touchy. It does not keep account of evil. You will not say to her, two weeks ago, you insulted my mother. Love does not keep account of evil. Or gloat over the wickedness of other people. On the contrary, it shares the joy of those who live by the truth. Love knows no limit to its endurance, no end to its trust, no failing of its hope. The one thing that still stands when all else has fallen is love. By this first Corinthians 13, verse 4 to 8 of J.B. Phillips' translation. In the book of Ephesians chapter 5, marriage is likened to be the mystical union of Christ and the church. In that verse, it says, You wives, in this case, it will say, You are matter. You must submit to your husband's leadership in the same way you submit to the law. For the husband is charged of his wife in the same way Christ is in charge of his body the church, and he gave his, his very slight to take care of it and be its savior. So you wives must willingly obey your husband in everything just as the church obeys Christ. And, and since you husband, in this case we say you Kelvin, show the same kind of love to your wife as Christ showed to the church when he died for her. That is how husbands should treat their wives, loving them as part of themselves. For since a man and his wife are now one, a man is really doing himself a favor and loving himself when he loves his wife. No one hates his own body, but lovingly cares for it, just as Christ cares for his body in the church, of which we are part of. So again, I say, a man must love his wife as part of himself. The wife must see to it that they deeply respect her husband, obeying, praising, and honoring him. After hearing the, what the Bible says, I charge you both as you stand in the presence of the Almighty God to remember that true love and loyalty will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vow you are about to take must be kept in balance, and if you are steadfastly endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, your lives will be full of joy, and the home you are about to establish will abide in peace. No human ties are more tender. No other vows are more sacred than this you are bound to assume. You are entering into that estate which is the deepest mystery of, ex of experience and which is the very sacrament of divine love. Just as you both will answer on the judgment day, when every secret thing of the heart will be revealed, so do I expect to you to answer right now. Alright, can I have... Okay. Do you take Chiamaka to be your lawfully wedded wife? Yes, I do. Are you hearing him? No. 
Please say it so that they can hear you. Yes, I do. Do you promise to support and love her for life? Yes, I do. Do you solemnly pledge before God and this witnesses that you will be faithful to her for the rest of your life? Yes, I do. Let's clap for him. <laughs> All right, now over to the right. All right. Each Maka, do you take heaven to be your lawfully wedded husband? Yes, I do. I can't hear you. Yes, I do. I still can't hear you. Yes, I do. Do you promise to love him? Yes, I do. Honor him, serve him, and obey him? Yes, I do. Do you solemnly pledge before God and this witness that you will be faithful to him as a wife for the rest of your life? Let's clap for her. All right, so I'm going to ask you, um, Kevin, do you have a special name for her? Or do you call her Mama something? Do you have a special name? Please announce it for these people to be jealous. What is that special name? I used to call her. I have a special name for her. Okay, what is the special name? Tell us, tell us. Okay, I can't hear this much work. Please make it work. You know you are an evangelist, so prove it to us now. Uh, <laughs> in English language, is uh, Obin Ken. Mm. Do we need a missionary to interpret the name? <laughs> All right. I hope you like the name, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> All right, so announce it again so that these people will hear all these sisters here will hear and tell us. I said the Nemo language is an Obin King. Mm. All right, now, so I want, to, I, I want you to look at her eyeball to eyeball now. Look at her, too. Can you turn her face yourselves? Look at her, don't look at me. I was not there when it started. Look at her very well. I mean, fact. Are we ready? All right, look at her straight to the eyes and call her that name that you told us now. Obin Kim. <laughs> Repeat after me, I love you. I love you. And today in the presence of our families and friends. And today in the presence of our families and friends. I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. I reaffirm my faith in Christ. I reaffirm my faith in Christ. And dedicate our marriage to the Christ Center. And dedicate our marriage to the Christ Center. I promise before God to love you. I promise before God to love you. To honor you. To honor you. And cherish you. And cherish you. As God enables me. And God enables me. As God enables me. Yes. As God enables me. I will provide. I will provide. For all your needs and desires. For all your needs and desires. I love you. I love you. Please. 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 Be my wife. Be my wife. Oh. You, you, you want to be his wife? Yes. You agree? Yes. All right. Now to you, Amata. Do you have a special name for him? Yes. Please give the microphone to the sisters. Let her be the one to be. All right. Please announce that special name for all these people that call their husbands Papa and Katie so that they can change their minds again. But announce that sweet name for us today. Please stop me to help me with this. Okay, please announce it again. If you are not that enough, please. Everyone will be singing. Okay. Did we hear it at the bar? Yes. Did we hear it at the bar? Yes. Okay, so to be able to say it publicly. To be able to say it publicly. Before our families and friends. Before our families and friends. That you are truly a man of God. That you are truly a man of God. A man that is tender. A man that is tender. And sensitive in his love for others. And sensitive to his love for others. I promise to make you a home. I promise to make you a home. Where there is peace for your soul. Where there is peace for your soul. And joy for your heart. And joy for your heart. My heart, my goal is to be a godly woman. My goal is to be a godly woman. 
to help fulfill your goals and dreams. To help fulfill your goals and dreams. I need you. I need you. And I'm very proud. And I'm very proud to become your wife. To become your wife. Can we all clap for these people? <laughs> all right. I'm going to ask you. Do you, do you have some more? Please, come and help us. Just pray. We want to thank you for gathering us here for the sole purpose to witness the wedding of our brother and our sister. Lord, as we present this ring before you, we ask that you bless this ring. Just as the ring is sacred and it's a mystery, Lord, we want their marriage to be mysterious to every man and woman that, that, that encounter in the name of Jesus Christ. No evil, no weapon, fashion decree against this marriage and against this ring shall prosper. As we present this ring, Lord, we ask that you bless it. Even as you wear the ring, Lord, it shall bring blessing. It shall bring favor. It shall bring own. It shall bring magnitude of blessing their way in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I join my face with the head pastor and the pastor right here that the decree that we make here today concerning their union it shall be made permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May the second of this ring typify the unending happiness and love that it will come to you as you unite your life together in Jesus' name. Amen. And may the triangle it forms in its passing. Unite you forever and keep your love alive forever in Jesus' name. Amen. So now look at him. Do you accept this ring as a pledge of your of your sincerity to this vow? I want to say yes. Okay. Yes, I do. All right. All right. So now place this ring on her marriage finger. Hold on. Go go at my instruction. Don't go too fast. Say with me, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. I say I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a seal of my commitment. As a seal of my commitment. And responsibility to you. And responsibility to you. In the presence of these premises. In the presence of these premises. In the name. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And everybody says, Amen. Let's clap for them. Of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. May this ring, and may this ring be the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites you to your two hearts in love that has never, will never have an end. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Alright. Amaka, I mean, I want space. Please give them space now. Please allow them space. Okay. Now he will also bless me now. Look. All right. All right. Since Amaka and Kelvin have consented together in these promises and have symbolized this by the giving and receiving each of the ring. And by your authority committed to me as the minister of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and according to the ordinance of the Almighty God and the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I now declare you both husband and wife.
together. Let not now put us under. Now put the microphone. Give them the mic together. Where's the microphone? Alright, give them the mic together. Please tell them hold it for both of you. All right, so say this together after we say, Entreat me not to leave you. Look at you. Say, Leave me alone. Look at you. Look at him. All right, say this together. Entreat me not to leave you or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people. And your God shall be my God. Hallelujah. Get up the Lord. This day marks the beginning of a new era in your life. And now united. From henceforth, you travel life's path. Not alone, but together. Let God forever be enthroned in your heart. As members of the church, the Lord Jesus Christ. We earnestly commend you to our Father, asking Him that He bestow upon you His grace and that He may establish your home in Jesus' name. Amen. May your experience as you travel down life's path may be full of joy and happiness. And may the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And may heaven be with you forever. And bless your marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. While they are still kneeling down, I'd like to ask their parents to come. And the pastors in the house to come. Please, all the pastors, can they all come and surround them with the wall of fire? And let's gonna pray for them in this next moment. Please, let's come quickly. Please, I want to let us surround them. And like everyone in the church, so please, can you rise with me this morning? Spread for your hands towards this couple. Spread for your hands towards here. Let's form a ring, pastors. Let's form a ring. Let it be close. I want stretch. Please, sir, stretch. Right. Our parents, everybody, please can you stretch with your hands and pray for them. Whatever you wish for your own marriage, let's ask the grace of God to establish this. Thank you because today she's no more a spinster, but from henceforth she shall be called Madam. I'm careful, my brother from the same area. I thank God because today I'm a witness that from henceforth his name has been removed from bachelor roots, and from henceforth. Shall be called a married man. Amen. Lord, they be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I pray, Lord, turn my faith together to everybody here today. Lord, the good thing that Lord for girls with marriage will not pass them by. Amen. Lord, shall come to pass that their first issue shall be triplet. Amen. 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 Amen.
in your servant may come to pass. Amen. Two points and again shall be the first child that comes to death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, they be saying, how can they care for them long? It shall come to pass, you supply all their needs. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bound you together Amen. with Almighty. With favor, Amen. with glory, Amen. with goodness, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No evil will see you. Every evil eyes have been punched out. Evil hands have been cut off. Evil tongues have been cut off. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every garden of each kind of your born to ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. He shall not lack. He shall not lack. Amen. The Lord will supply all your needs. Amen. Richly in Christ Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you all. Amen. Jesus name it is done. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, before we leave, Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we separate them from your heart. Amen. For he that is in Christ is a new creation. All things are past. When they rise from here, they rise to a new life. Amen. They rise to a new season. Amen. It's a new day. Amen. But you shall arrive and find. For your light has come. Amen. And the glory of the Lord is upon you. This home is established in thee. Amen. Lord shall abound in this home. Amen. You shall be an example for all that's to follow. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Or oh, whatever they thought to do shall prosper. Amen. God will decree that fruitfulness shall be your force. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Or we ask over the resources shall multiply. Amen. For one will chase a thousand. Two would chase ten thousand. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One God has joined together. Nobody, no man, no woman, no devil, no witchcraft shall put us on. Everyone that attempts to divide this home, find out with the sweet enchantment of God upon them. In the name of Jesus, we surround them with the wall of fire. Amen. Your favor follows them. Amen. Grace and mercy is their portion. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. We give you praise, we give you glory. Amen. Oh, our mother is fruitful. Amen. She is fruitful. She is fruitful. Kevin is fruitful. We speak into their loins. The Bible says that the seed of the righteous shall be mighty upon the land. All the word and word and truth shall be in their household. They will never lack. They will never be in need. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Their homes shall be a home of peace. Oh, we give you praise. We give you glory. Give you all. These ones are honor you in their marriage. Amen. They will honor you in their home. Amen. Lord, today they decree and their ministry shall be to blossom for today. Amen. Oh Lord, the call of God upon their life, the will of God upon their life shall begin to multiply. Amen. I decree that Lord, Lord, my car is a friend that the fire of God in this marriage shall begin to increase and increase Amen. and grow and grow Amen. and grow stronger and stronger. Amen. Lord, you say in your word that, Lord, the pipe of the church is a shining light. Yes. It gets better and brighter and brighter. Amen. I just feel, Lord, from this moment, from this moment, their ministry begins. Amen. It begins from now yeah. and spreads around, yeah. increasing on every side. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I'm asking you a helper. Yeah. You are the grace, you are the strength. Yeah. Whatever he does, is going to have favor. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. As a church, we dedicate this Bible to you. We ask that this Bible shall be the symbol of this marriage. Amen. You will stand upon the word of God. Amen. And the word of God shall never fail. Amen. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can you have your right hand? Have your right hand. Can you come forward, please? In the absence of that, please package your offering and please can you rise with your offering? As you're rising with your offering, nothing will put you down in Jesus' name. Sickness will not put you down in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just need to lift up your offering, package something beautiful for the Lord. Package something handsome for the Lord. So when you give stingily, you Rip stage and you 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 rip.
already finished the whole thing for him. <laughs> the whole world was like, <sighs> so people were like, glory, you couldn't even wear. You mean when this marriage, they humble you like this? I said, it's not like that. You know, I was in the choir now, Francis, so I don't master everything, finish. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, on behalf of Insights Bible Church Lagos, we want to celebrate you and also, hallelujah, tell you welcome to the club. This is a club. A club, you don't need to resign. Even when you say you want to, we say no. Because you, you will not. Hallelujah. And we trust and believe that this marriage must work. And God will take you to a perfect head. In the name of Jesus. Only death will separate you. In the name of Jesus. So on behalf of the church, I want to please present the certificate, marriage certificate, to Mr. and Mrs. Calvin Ejemadu. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and turn it. Hold it. Mommy, hold it. Okay, husband and wife. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Before I go back to the seats, I want to also. Use this opportunity to welcome all of us who have come here this afternoon to celebrate with the joy of Mr. and Mrs. Germano. I was putting Evangelist Kelvin, but you know they have been declared. So I don't have to go by them before they come and say I'm no more that one. Hallelujah. Amen. Congratulations. So I want to thank you for coming to share in their joy. And I believe that God that has brought you here will also give you a reason to rejoice. And men will also come to celebrate with you in Jesus' name. Yeah. I want to especially you know, welcome those of us who are fellowshipping with us for the very first time. I know most of us are first timers. But please, if you are a first timer in this house this afternoon, can you just wave your hand? Just wave your hand. Just wave. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, can you just stand? Just take another step and please stand with me this afternoon. As we welcome you in our home, please can the insiders just walk across to them and shake hands with their name them and tell them you are welcome. That issue that you came with that has brought pain and tears to your eyes, I see the voice of joy in your life flowing. I wish I had a believer in this house. Amen. If you came here sick in your body, the grace of God, the power of God is going to heal you and transform you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If your marriage is sick, I demand and I declare healing upon your marriage in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare upon you that this year will not end. There shall be laughter in your family. Amen. I said there shall be laughter in your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I see someone celebrate before the last day of this year. Amen. I see here someone celebrate before the last day of this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Goodness and mercy shall follow you. Amen. Tables and encompass around you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When mercy is a casting down, you will say there's a lifting up. This year will not end. There's going to be a testimony in your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I know as you come to honor these people, God will honor your life. Go to the bed, baby, fresh and a bit. If you smile, not to smile, oh, baby, oh. Your love, your love, your love. I 
like a rap inside my heart too. So try to steal my love away Nobody know that they cannot We'll be the key to the padlock We'll be the plane of the pilots Oh my god, oh, oh my god, yo We'll be the ring where God come out to you So if you smile, not to smile, oh baby, yo
so that as they are coming, slap something to do. Please put your hands together for them.
said that I would like to appreciate God for Pastor Evangelist Kelvin, uh, this beautiful wife. My job is to give him um, chairman's remark, opening remark. What I want to say to, I'm going to face a woman of God, Amaka. I enjoyed, you blessed my soul when you sang in the church today. What, what the Lord showed me that you're going to compliment the great work that the Lord has placed in the hands of your husband. And as you do that, the Lord will bless you and you to bless you richly. Um, again, I'm going to face you. You are the glory of your husband. I hope you know that. I hope you know that men are stressed. As soon as we step out, out of the door, we are confronted with all kinds of stress. They will splash water and now they will do all kinds of things on the man, on his way out, on his way back, in his business, in his ministry. Once he comes home, you are the comfort he's waiting for. And whatever you make of him is what he's going to become. I know your husband in ministry. I know that the Lord called him. I know that. I know he's a man called by God. And so you have to compliment him. And I'm not going to face him because I know that he knows what his duties are to you. He's a man of God, a true man of God. And I believe he will do that. He will fulfill, he will take care of you, protect, provide, do all that he ought to do according to the word of God. And I know that with the gift God has given you, I only saw a little of it. And I, so I believe that when he comes home, stress or blessed, that you will continue to compliment and bless his soul so that he will do greater things and greater exploit in the house and in the ministry that the God has blessed him. As you do that, the Lord will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Marriage is a complex, is a complex institution. If you are not there, I've been married for 22 years. My twin boys are 20 years at the university. And so I know what marriage is. My old, my one and only daughter is 18. So I know what it is to talk about marriage. And so anybody that would tell them the marriage is, is uh, full of roses, is lying. Sometimes a man that have money in his pocket and he's, he has gone to my man to say, I want this your daughter. I know I can take care of her very well. And so, if my mom and papa release their daughter to Pastor Kevin, and for whatever reason, uh, business, ministry, then there is stress. Uh, it takes grace. It takes grace to come home and say, I don't, today we're going to, we're going to drink water, or we're going to drink tea and go to bed. And so I want to ask that this new couple will continue to bless them, pray for them, that the Lord God will provide all of their needs in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Please clap for my chairman. Please clap very well for my chairman. If you get this time, chairman, you're not going to be here. If you get this time, chairman, I say you're not going to be here. I say, I don't get you, sir. Tomorrow you'll be like, I go go and wait there. I go talk something. You go come talk, you go speak, you know? You see how he's handling my, you know? I know that your mic call is going to continue to bless them, you know? I know that we speak like that, too. Chairman, <laughs> God bless you in Jesus' name. All right, without wasting much of our time, we want to run very fast. I'm sure that people are already touching something. They're already putting something in their mouth. But please, I want everybody to have the solid. Please, the people who are supposed to serve food, 
I bet me on a server. Time don't reach. Like me now, I go drop this mic. You be like in a ten place, I go chop because I don't hear since twelve. But nothing they happen. I'm gonna prepare myself, my own very well. People where they serve food, I bet me on a serve the food. Serve food, serve drink. Let everybody eat. We are going to run with the speed of the light, like I promised us. We are still gonna keep to that promise. As that is going on, and I won't do business together. I bet where the person will make this case. Who made the case? Bros, now you. Ah. You come where I say, you come where I say they go to the theater. Don't be a pressure, what can't do now, bros? Wait a Eh? You want slap me? I know they hear that when you just come out. You just come out. Okay, it's on duty. Please, ladies and gentlemen, clap for this wonderful man. I didn't know there was a man can make this wonderful cake. I was expecting to see one excellency lady. But please, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great one to have a male catcher in the house. Please put your hands together for him. As you can see, the cake is for in number. The first one is presenting the family, the second one the wife, while the rest is presenting the children. The third one the cake is presenting purity, while the white one is presenting also God. The food inside is food plants. As you all enjoy this cake, oh, yeah. and the single lady and the bachelor enjoy this cake, I pray that this one of you will also come your way in Jesus' name. Thank you all and God bless you. Hallelujah. Okay, you know why I said make this man do your own sharp sharp? You know when they look this cake, you be like, it is sweet to everyone. You test that when they when they do out. You test that. Yeah, definitely. They say give me money, make do something for her. They say definitely. They test that. Okay, I go tell them more your money. They never pay <laughs> So, as if they look this cake, you be like, I want to say make it, they go back. Plus, shift small before you begin butter, before the owners come. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great arrangement. We're going to welcome this couple to dancing and cut their cake. It's a different arrangement altogether. It's a pastor. I went to, I went to my kitchen to do what, what, what happened in your kitchen. And as I went to the kitchen, I, I was trying to comb my suit, and I saw the clothes inside. Oh! Are you eating? Is that monk? It don't be like that. <laughs> you know, say, sometimes some people they live for me. Why I'm saying this is, the work of pastors is so easy. Any cockroach will pass, and we eat for some people. Anything will pass. And we, so they go call Pastor. So, I want to welcome our own Pastor. Pastor, Udo, please. Yeah. <laughs> 
let your constituents win, Jab Jab. The more you want, the more you win the election, please, people. Don't say money day politics now. Okay. You are going to have four boys and four girls. No, put them in the here. Now you are the top two. Wait till you You want to go to my daddy, Abi? Okay, fine. I don't want to listen to that. I'm going to be the statue of Abel. I need to buy the photo top. I'm going to go get three boys and two girls. Whether she actually understands 
what their duties are in the home. Let's watch them. I don't ask you. All right. Thank you. 